Hello everyone, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to use SQLite inside your applications. You might, I have got a lot of requests from people asking about SQLite, how do we add them to a database, how to, uh, to, a, to our app. So first thing, let's uh, know what SQLite is. SQLite is a lightweight database which is used and let's create one SQLite database. So in this, what we are going to do is we are going to create a table, um, database, fill some values inside it and in the application we're going to import this database and see how we can get those data from the database so first let me show you how to add database so first let me go to desktop and create a SQLite database you create that by saying SQLite 3 and I a data uh, table called as seek person so I just SQLite 3 once I create that database, now I can create a table inside it. Call it create table. Uh, the table name, let's give it person. And what do I need inside it? Unique I unique ID. So you say the ID of the person, which is integer, of the type integer, name, text, and address. Text a bunch of different tutorials on SQLite. Uh, basics you can look through them if you don't understand any of these but if you have any experience with database you know what I'm doing here right now and then I go ahead and insert if you see that there's a database file created on your desktop it's a flat file it doesn't need any server or anything you can just uh, it, you can think of it as a text file um, so insert into now I need to insert something into this table person hmm values say so one name is Vivian uh, address to three main street can do the same thing and I can say so one I need two say John Smith Address is 234 Main Street. You can do the same thing again and number 3 and change the very popular names 345. Okay, there we go. We have our data. Let's see if it's inside that select star from person table so we have all the three fields we don't need this anymore so I can just go ahead and quit it and can close this and let's go ahead and make a project in which we will be importing the database so once I have that I'll create a view based application test SQL save it on the desktop go ahead and I will add the database file to my supporting files because it's a supporting file you can add it anywhere you want file desktop person sqlite copy items into destination add and there we go we have our database file inside here now what I need to do is I want to make a class which represents this database object so I'll go ahead and I say new file object you see type and then this object say it is person info it is this file class file represents how the person table is being is represented so go to dot h and we have this now we need some more variables say unique id represents did by this and as string star the name that we had and we had a couple of one more thing as string star address so we had this we create at the rate property non-atomic since it's a uh, integer I'll say assign int unique ID and then next one for the string non-atomic copy and it's string star the name is name that copy and paste it because both us objects so address once we have that next I need a function which 
actually calls uh, initializes this method with some values um, you'll see what this is in a moment int mm, id uh, init with let's say i want to call it with unique id uh, and that is integer and call it unique id name is a ns string star name so this is what we're gonna pass to this function state is ns not sorry not states address we don't have state and city we just have one string address ns string star address so we have this once we have all this let's go to our dot m file and do the rest of the thing so we have the id name and address so we need to synthesize them synthesize just copy and paste it and then put commas here it's much faster so we have that synthesized now i need that function so i just copy that function go here and paste it say guess this font is a little small let me go to preferences and change this font to presentation style so you can see much clearly okay this is much easier to read i guess okay inside this i will say if self equal to super and it what you're doing is you are actually initialize uh, you're calling the initialization function and at the same time you're also saying if self is equal to super in it um, and then i will say it will give a warning here but it's all same as if self equal to super in it and then saying if self then what do we do we say self dot unique id equal to unique id whatever is passed by the other guy we just name equal to name self dot mm, address equal to address that comes here so once we have these three we can do is we can since it returns this needs this object so return self so we have this function pretty much written down it's always better to write the dialog function too so we'll just try that so let's say what all we need to dialog self dot name equal to nil self dot address equal to nil and then we need Call the super dialog function so once we have this this is all good to go next we need to write a, a class for the database which accesses the database and does the database manipulations so I'll just move these here make one more file same in its object type and I will call this file person database I think that 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 itself is good so create that file now we have this person database file I'll bring this up hmm. foundation we need to do a lot of SQLite methods here so we need to include the SQLite files so it's it's located in user slash includes slash SQLite 3.h so once we have that we're good with that next we need to go to SQLite we have to create a database uh, of object SQLite 3 and then we need to write a class method to get the person database our database so it initializes only one instance of this 
so whenever, whenever anyone wants a database it will just call this method and uh, get that particular and then I'm gonna make uh, an array to get all the objects so this will call get all persons function which will get all list of the entire person that we created in our in our database the three people that we created in the start uh, next we'll go to dot m file and create implementation file i will call a static person i'll make object person database so there's only one instance of the database at a time instead of having multiple ones so once i have that just i need to write implement these two functions copy them and paste them here so let's see so what do we put inside these so this needs a database so if database exists is equal to nil if it doesn't exist so then we have to create a database or we return the database that is available hmm, this which was created before which is same as person database allocate initialize else return I mean not else return database so this will return the database that was created so this is cool and then next we write need to write the initialization function I can just say in it and it will automatically write the function for me and now what do I need to write inside this inside this self so first I will go ahead and I need to access the database file so I will say SQLite database equal to so this is where we get handled to the database say n ns bundle main bundle hmm, path for resource hmm, our file name is person of type it is the type of that file so it's equal light 3 equal light 3 so once we have that we're all good so we have the handle for that now I will call something from the SQLite file that we actually imported it's called SQLite 3 score open I'm trying to open the SQLite file what does it need a file name now we already have a file name uh, which uh, which uh, is file name and the database object SQLite 3 so the file name we have it uh, SQL light the name that I gave you SQL light DB here but then it doesn't understand what it is because it's of this type in a string so I will convert into UTF-8 string which it understands this function is a basic C function and it needs the database so I'll say and database so this is what will return as the database so once we have that hmm, I can say ns log if SQLite open page database but there's one more thing left I think uh, not equal to SQLite okay so it doesn't if it doesn't is not a SQLite file then we can say fail to open database so that's what we'll do here and next we'll go ahead and write the dialog function move a little bit more space so void dialog super dialog then we need to close the database three is uh, sql light 3 underscore close and the database which is a database so this is good mm, next 